Now, hopefully you notice a couple of things are a little bit different on stage, and you'll notice some things in the parking lot, and that's for a reason, because we want to introduce a ministry that you have an opportunity to serve, and you may not think of it as a ministry, but it really is. So why don't you turn your attentions to the screens right now. Taney County 911, where is your emergency? My house is on fire. What is your address? 288 Eagle Rock Road. 288 Eagle Rock Road. Wait outside for the fire department to arrive. They're being dispatched now. A report of a residential structure fire. The child probably flew outside. 288 Eagle Rock oh, Road. Need Western Engine 73. Tank hey, I'll see you later. Rescue 77. Engine 102. Engine 13. Tank 15. Rescue 17. Engine 73. Respond to 3. Rescue 17. Engine 52 is on scene. Got a story and a half wood frame structure. Smoke showing from the exterior. Engine 52 will have Eagle Rock Command out for fast attack. Well, I think all of us at some point in our lives are going to need to dial that 911 and have somebody help us and rescue us. And so this morning, we're going to do just that. We have Chief Chris Barrett with us from the Taney County Fire District. And Chris, you're here to ask for what? Ask for more help for volunteers. Volunteers. Now, you're in the fire department. You get to wear the uniform. You don't, what do you mean volunteers? We pay you guys to take care of us. Right. Right? <laughs> right. What kind of volunteers do you need? Well, uh, for Western Taney County, we have we cover the western third of the county. We have 12 different stations all the way down, you know, from Oakmont to Marion Woods, um, 160 Highway, uh, Hollister. We have two in Hollister. Um, and we have eight paid people that's basically the support staff, kind of similar to the way church is here. And... Um, Everybody else is a volunteer. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. How many people are you covering in that Western Taney County District? Uh, about 27,000. 27,000 people. How many of you know that you live in Western Taney County, that you know that you live in that part of the fire district? Okay, there's a few people to know. How many of you don't know that you live there, but you probably do? Okay. <laughs> Some of you do are like, I think that's where it is. And you're telling me that if we live in that area, and so that's kind of like north of Branson on 65, whether it's a car accident, whether it's a fire for a structure, and we call somebody, you're saying to me that more than likely it's going to be a volunteer who shows up and helps us. More than likely, and correct. And how many volunteers do you have? We have right around uh, 60 right now. 60 volunteers. I want and you to think about that. If you live in that area, we have eight paid staff and 60 volunteers, and how many volunteers do you really need? We need about double that. About double of that. And so what you're hoping today is that there are some men and women here Correct. who will agree they would be interested in become a, uh, a firefighter and they might be able to drive a truck one of those cooks full trucks maybe 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 <laughs> they're not gonna let me drive a truck though that's are what you? i was just yeah, thinking. thinking i'm not gonna let you drive the truck but maybe there's somebody out there and so you brought a couple of guys who are not paid they're actually some of our members we got Corey Correct. roebuck over here and Corey, you've been doing this for how long and why do you do this well about three years now i think when my family was moved by the lord here to, to branson we were looking for a way to get just involved in the community do what you say every day which is to go out and be a christian in the community yeah. and, and literally the lord put chris burnt in our in our path here he was like in an aisleway i couldn't get around him and I had to i had yeah, to talk yeah, to him he, here he does that a lot yeah, he may have cornered me out and i think about it but he, he convinced us to come out and and honestly i make a difference in people's lives every day and not just every day it's on the worst day of their life where they're screaming out for help i'm able to come and, and to do that which is just a great opportunity for uh, for me to do that i tell people that i've got my career working it so i'll say white water by the way if you haven't bought a season pass not too late go ahead sorry get yeah. it in yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming, didn't you? I knew it was coming. I love Civil City, too. So but then great. I've got my calling, which is to be a, a volunteer firefighter here. And I know some people have asked out in the hallway in between services, you know, what, what, 
You know, is it, is it too much time commitment? There, there is a time commitment. I know that Dave and I volunteer at least three nights a, a month to, to do that. Okay, and then 10% of month. those 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 calls that are out there, we we, uh, we love female firefighters. I think that, that there's absolutely need, whether uh, regardless of what, what sex you are. And then we, we do like to eat, so there's a great fit with the Baptist church. Okay, so that's good. So if you like to eat and dress up and drive trucks, this is a great place to come. Absolutely. And But this has kind of been in your blood. You've kind of got a background in law enforcement, and I know sometimes it's a little bit different. But Dave, you come from a different kind of perspective. You didn't come from a law enforcement first responder kind of response. In fact, you kind of had some different things to think oh, about no. this. Oh no! Oh no! I I really thought that the volunteer fire service was a bunch of knuckleheads, and uh, I I was really uh, totally against it. We, in the past, I've done uh, different ministry things with the church, but God prompted me and and kind of kind of hit me upside the head and said, you know, you're willing to go and. Uh, take these take these mission trips and do this stuff here, but there's a ministry where your neighbors are honestly uh, needing help uh, every day, and you know this is a ministry opportunity for anybody that can go and help any any day of the year. You don't just have to wait until your vacation and take your vacation time or whatever. Uh, this is this this is something real, and it's something that we can help every day. And so you provide training for these guys, and so it's not like you're just going to show up one day and then get to drive the fire truck or to do the big jaws of life helping people, and you're going to right. train them, you're going to provide all those kind of things. So if somebody's going, ah, I don't know about that, what would you encourage them? How do they get involved? How do they take that next step? We're not going to put them in a truck today and take them off someplace if they sign up. No, uh, but, well, I guess we take somebody for a spin or something. Okay, David, maybe so. David that, would. That's what it takes. Okay. That's right. Now, we have a little table set up out front. I think everybody saw that probably when they came in. Um, we can, after the service, they can come talk, or, or now if you want them to. Yeah, they can talk while I'm preaching. It's fine. That's okay. Do that. That's, <laughs> I'm not saying anything important today, so that's fine. Just be out there. So anyway, after the, after the service, they could visit with us out there. That would be great. Um, we are on Facebook. We are, have a website, or our main headquarters is uh, by next door to Trilex Ford. Come by there sometime. Um, anyway, we, we'd love to get people involved. And <laughs> just, you know, to make sure people understand this, uh, in the United States, about 85% of all the United States is covered with a volunteer fire service. So it's really mostly the urban area, the more densely populated area. Same way we have here in Branson um, uh, that, that have firefighters. It takes about 20 firefighters when we go to a house fire to have enough people to do all the jobs need to be filled, or things need to be done when we go to somebody's house that's on fire. And particularly as you get more and more in the rural area, it happens rarer, and that's why... Um, why the uh, volunteer fire service in the United States is still so strong today. So if there's somebody who's a guest today, doesn't live in this area, and say, hey, can't sign up for this, there's probably a need back where they live or not very right. far from where they live right. they can sign up. Obviously, we are covered the western third of this county, but if you even, even around here, if you may be from Omaha area or Stone County or further east or north, uh, there's... Uh, definitely a need there also. I'm sure they would look for, they're looking for help. And then, like you said, any visitor even from out of the area, most certainly. Well, we appreciate what you guys do. We don't tell you enough. I don't think a lot of us recognize that it's just people like us who are coming to the aid of other people like us. And what a great way to be involved in serving Christ in your community now. So these guys will be out on the floor. They'd love to sign up, whether you're a man or a woman, whatever your age is, there's lots of ways to different serve, right. not just going in and fighting a fire. There's other ways to be supportive as right. well. We actually have also, we start out with an explorer post at four, age 14 to 18. And then uh, for people that do not want to fight or can't fight fire or whatever, we have what we call a support team and they help any other way except responding to calls. They help administratively, um, public education, all different things. Well, Chris, I'm glad you're doing what we do because we pay you. And David and Corey, we're glad for what you guys do just for fun and to help and serve. Aren't you glad we got people like this serving here at our congregation? Thanks so much. Good job. Thanks, Corey.